new bookstore is really nice. They have such a huge variety of books. Yes, the books look so attractive. Hey friends, I have just got a great idea. Why don't we buy a book as a birthday present for Duckley? You are right, Amber. I am sure we will find just the right birthday gift for Duckley here. I think we should buy a story book for Duckley. Hmm. But he has so many story books. Let us buy something he doesn't have. Hey, look. I think we can gift him a puzzle book. Shall we, Sayona? Oh, why not? Duckley is very intelligent. He would love to solve these puzzles. Let's buy it. The price is rupees 30. To find out how much money each person has to pay, we need to share rupees 30 equally among the three of us. This means that 30 divided by 3 is equal to 10. So, if we share rupees 30 equally among three of us, then we need to pay rupees 10 each. But I don't have 10 rupees. We need to find a book that is priced at less than rupees 30. Hmm, here is a book for rupees 15. To find out how much money each person has to pay, we need to share rupees 15 equally among three of us. This means that 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So, if we share rupees 15 equally, we need to pay rupees 5 each. I have rupees 5 now. So we can buy this book. Very good. I have rupees 5 too. So we all can share equally. Max, you have some lovely balloons there. Yes. Let us share these balloons equally. Then each of us will give the share to Duckley. Let us use division to find out each person's share. Let me see. The total number of balloons is 12. The number of people who want the balloons is 3. We divide the 12 balloons equally among 3 of us. So, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Hi, Duckly. Happy birthday, Duckly. You both seem to be very busy. Can we help you? Now look here, kids. I have got 24 cookies in this basket. I want to put 4 cookies each into these boxes. Can you tell me how many boxes I will be able to fill? I don't know. It is very simple. You need to divide the 24 cookies by the group of 4 cookies. In other words, you will have to divide 24 by 4. You see, by making equal groups of 4 cookies, we know that 24 cookies can be put into 6 boxes. So, 24 divided by 4 is 6. Oh, now I got it. It was so simple. <laughs> and now, I'm giving you another division problem. Look at those birds in the sky. They fly in the group of five. 
Can you use division to tell me how many groups they will form? Well, the total number of birds is 20. The number of birds in one group is 5. We divide 20 by the group of 5 birds. So, 20 divided by 5 is 4. Excellent young ones! You are absolutely right! Oh, we just forgot that we are here to celebrate Duckley's birthday. Let's cut the cake, Duckley. Let us quickly go through the important points of today's lesson on division. We can use division statements to solve word problems. A given number of objects can be divided by sharing equally. A given number of objects can also be divided by making equal groups. <laughs> 